When Ben Liu was a baby, he was diagnosed with a rare disease, but that was only part of the equation. 20-year-old Ben Liu is making the most out of a tough start in life. At six months old, I was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy. The rare disease attacked Ben's nervous system and left him dependent upon his mother. Almost my weight. Jenny has a master's degree, but left her career as a software programmer. How many hours a day are you working with Ben? 16. 16 hours. Like a massage. Away. While therapy exercises Ben's body, he's always strengthening his mind as well. We're looking at quantum mechanics, <laughs> angular momentum, and the wigner eckert theorem. Some light reading for you? <laughs> Rather than being called a patient, Ben prefers titles such as physicist and philosopher. Tell the viewers what kind of grades you're getting at MIT. All A's or A pluses. You have a perfect 5.0. Yes. Since my body doesn't work so well, I allocate all my resources to my brain. Good evening, everyone. Ben's story has fascinated people in China, where he suspects a short film about his life has been viewed 50 million times and led to a catchy nickname. Meet San Diego's 20-year-old agent Stephen Hawking. <laughs> his mother can't believe the worldwide interest. He's a celebrity in China. Yeah, right, huge one. He goes out, people recognize him. And so we saw him, it's just go wild. You were born with some pretty severe challenges, and yet from the moment I met you, you've been smiling. Yes, the challenges I faced put other challenges in perspective. So you're like, you know, I've gone through worse than this. I can handle this. The award-winning mathematician says if you add it all up, deep down, he must be a philosopher. Well, some people say you should live every day like it's your last. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that is correct because if you did that, then uh, you wouldn't be able to make any long-term plans. <laughs> so, Ben's plans include inventing a system that would feed himself so his mother could take more time off. And as for that nickname, Asian Stephen Hawking. My hope is that we would have more than one example of uh, someone with a disability uh, who achieved great heights, so <laughs> I want to be another example. <laughs> In the Zevely Zone. I think it's time we had a second example. Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.